How to add email pop-up on Shopify, step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can get started with creating your own email pop-ups that appear on your Shopify store when people log on to a store or, you know, visit a certain page. And this kind of pop-up enables you to collect more emails for your marketing list, for your email marketing, as well as a few other ways that you can collect emails. So let's get into it. Now, one of the basic ways is obviously to create an email pop-up. You can ask people to sign up and, you know, receive newsletters. But a far more effective way is to provide incentives like 5% discount, 10% discount, or just a very minimal discount that won't really affect the revenue of your business. And then you also have pre-existing emails of the customers that already exist, so you can combine these and those to further extend your email marketing list. Now, how can you create this kind of pop-up? Well, it's very simple. Simply head on over to your Shopify store, click on settings on the bottom left, Go into your apps and sales channels on the left side of your screen. Then you want to click on Shopify App Store, App Store on the top right. Once you click on Shopify App Store, this will open up the Shopify App Store where you can search for email pop-up. Now you can just search for pop-up and there are multiple different tools that enable you to create pop-ups. I personally have used Proofbear and then I've also used Privy. So you can search for any two of these. They are super amazing. Privy has a free version and Proofbear is a totally free one. You don't have to, you know, upgrade or anything like that. It's a free to use application. So we're going to be using Privy for this tutorial. Now to get started, all you have to do is click on add application and then you will have to verify it with your Shopify store. So we will just click on install application over here. Once you click on that, they will give you a specific little section. So we will just confirm this, add our business details, and you can skip it if you want, but we're just adding our details. Then you can set up your account. You just have to enter your basic information. Then you can go on ahead and, you know, add a couple of on what kind of, you know, uh, image you want. So you guys can see, uh, you can upload your logos, default image, the primary colors, how you want your pop-ups to look like. So you're going to click on upload over here, upload new photo, and you want to just upload your store icon, whatever it might be. Let's say this is our icon for dead and clothing, and you can click on use this photo. So this logo will be added to our pop-ups. Then you can have your default image that can appear on the background of your, you know, store items, whatever it might be. Uh, if you want it to be a specific product or a specific item, you can select that. Let's say for us, we just want it to be like a product, like this one. And you can click on use this photo. And you guys can see now, this is like the pop-up that's going to show. Now, once I've done that, I will add the primary colors. So these are going to be the ones that, you know, fit with the color scheme of your store. Obviously, you have probably already set up your store before you're creating pop-ups. So you want to create, you know, pop-ups that match with the rest of your brand aesthetic, with the look of your brand. So just select any color that you feel like is going to fit your brand aesthetic. Let's say for us, it's going to be dark pinks. I'm just going to select a couple of dark pink colors like this. And let's say I'm doing like a complementary color like this and then you have your contrast color however you want it to appear i'm going to keep it white once you've done that you're just going to click on next over here and uh you can get started with growing your list and you know creating uh email drives to visit you know to uh get people to visit your store you can set up your first automations or grow your list so you want to click on grow my list and click on get started now, once you do that, you will be able to see this little section. So you have your pretty place and you just want to go on ahead and you can take a look at these pre-existing, you know, pop-ups that are already there. Now, this is what I was talking about. So join us on your first purchase, get 20% off or don't go sign up and get a 10% discount. Don't leave without your coupon. So these are multiple different ways that you can enable yourself to collect emails and to make sure people are uh you know putting in their emails because they have you know a incentive now uh we have a free shipping bar 
which can uh, increase your overall order value. It shows you all this, um, the preview application shows you what is the specific purpose. So you can click on all displays and you can click on design my first pop-up and you can uh, choose what kind of discount you want to offer. So let's say I want to put a pop-up for free shipping or 10% off. I want to click on activate and discount and now it will show me what it's going to look like. I want to view it on a desktop view. And this is what it's looking like. I can obviously change the image. Then this is like the pop-up and I can change the image just like that from the left side of my screen. You can also edit the text. Let's say I want to provide maybe a 15% uh, discount. So I can edit that as well. You have the alignment. You can choose to align it however you want. And you can change the design however you want. You can round up the corners. You can upload background images. You can choose the background color as well. And I'm going to go with a light nude pink for our background color like this. And just like that, you are, by completing this form, you are receiving to sign up and receive our emails. But I'm going to remove that text. I don't want to show that. I can just remove that like so. I have my form and button over here. Now, after that, you just want to, you know, set it up and you can change the layout as well, but I like it as it is. And you can click on save and publish at the same time. Now, you can choose to publish it and unpublish it if you're not satisfied with the result. Now, once you click on publish, this will show up on your Shopify store. So, you can click on your dashboards over here and you have your little section. Now, whenever you create this kind of pop-up, you need to click on coupons over here. And you have a unique coupon that will be added to the specific uh, title. So you can click on edit over here. And then you have the code prefix, you have the percentage of products, and then you have, you know, the displaying the coupon code like so. And this can enable you to customize your coupon. Obviously, if you're increasing or decreasing the value of the coupon, you want to edit it from here. And then you want to make sure that it is linked to the specific pop-up that you have. Now, if I go into my dashboard, I have this specific pop-up and I'm going to go on ahead and go back to Shopify just to see what our little pop-up is looking like currently. So if I open up my online store over here, I'm not going to get it. So I'm just going to open it up in incognito mode and we'll paste and go. And you guys can see our little pop-up is on the left side of our screen and then we have this little pop-up. Now you can change the behavior of this if you want it to appear on screen directly. So for that you can go back into your preview dashboard. You have your campaigns. I have your little convert phase. I'll just select you know the coupon. You can stop it for now. And you know you have this uh, stopped for now. And then you can go back and go into your convert a b test and we have our little coupon so i'm going to reactivate this and i'm just going to duplicate this and then i have my free form validations i have my target follow-up result and then i can republish this into a different format on my specific website or on my specific ecom page so that is how easy it is to create pop-ups on your Shopify store to capture more emails and grow your marketing list even further. I hope you guys found this video helpful and now you are able to get started with creating and capturing more emails on Shopify. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below and I will catch you guys in the next video.